Hello and welcome to another of Mrs. Patnell's math sessions. I'm just checking you can see my days of the week behind me and you can because this session is going to be a session on time and the rest of the week is going to be about time. Now time in the early years, this is a, a fact, some facts for mums and dads at home, is um, it touches on the o'clock but that's kind of stretching us to be honest but we will look at the o'clock. It's days of the week, it's months of the year of which we've been singing about already. It's about putting uh, your typical activities in a day in order, so understanding what comes first, what comes in the middle of the day, what comes last. Um, and it's just getting familiar with looking in particular at an analogue clock. Okay, so this session is going to touch on days of the week. And then it's going to look at activities that we do during the day and putting them into the right order. So we're going to start with our days of the week. I've got different ones here today on butterflies, so hopefully you can see them. They're all written on the jaunt because they're hanging by one wing here, okay? So look for those usual capital letters at the beginning that help us work out which day of the week it is that we're singing about, okay? And then we'll do a couple of things with the days of the week to check we are remembering which order they go in. Okay, so there's Monday and there's Tuesday. There's Wednesday and there's Thursday. There's Friday and there's Saturday, and then there's Sunday. Days of the week, clap, clap. Days of the week, clap, clap. Sorry about that, my vocals are not particularly good today. Let's sing it one more time. There's a Monday and there's Tuesday. There's Wednesday and there's Thursday. There's Friday and there's Saturday, and then there's Sunday. Days of the week, clap, clap. Days of the week, clap, clap. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a few tomorrow and yesterday questions. Remember, if I'm talking about tomorrow, it's looking onwards to the next day. If I'm talking about yesterday, it's looking backwards to the day that happened before the one we're on at the moment. So you may well be watching this video on a Monday, okay? So it could be a Monday. It might not be, don't worry if it isn't, but for this first question, let's pretend it's a Monday. So if today is Monday, what will tomorrow be? What will tomorrow be? So tomorrow means looking onwards to the day that hasn't happened yet. So if today is Monday, tomorrow will be t -t Tuesday. So going back to today is Monday. If today is Monday, what day was yesterday? Yesterday. So yesterday means going backwards. Oh, it's not there. So we're going to have to go back to where we started before we came into this new week. So Monday, the day yesterday, we have to go all the way back to here. Yesterday was Sunday. Okay, it was the weekend. All right, that's kind of a tricky business, isn't it? Thinking, oh, Monday, what came before it? You go back to the line again and it was Sunday. So really it goes around in a circle. It was just hard to show you that on my washing line. Right, okay. So imagine that today is Thursday. What day will tomorrow be? If today's Thursday, what day will tomorrow be? Tomorrow is looking on to the day that hasn't happened yet. It would be Friday. If today is Thursday, what would yesterday, yesterday have been? Going backwards, it would have been Wednesday. Okay, so that's a little bit of tomorrow's and yesterday's. Now, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Don't cheat, because it makes it really boring if you cheat. So I want you to close your eyes, and I'm going to take two of the days of the week and swap them over. And I want you to see if you can tell me which ones I have swapped. So close those eyes, okay? No peeping, otherwise it'll be a really boring exercise. Okie dokie. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Okay, right, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Hopefully you can see these days of the week clearly on here. I'm hoping you can. So, thinking of the song, and if you think about singing it while you're looking at the days of the week, look at these first letters to help you. Can you tell which ones I have swapped? Okay, look along the days of the week. Think of the song. Can you work out which two are in the wrong place? Which two I have swapped? 
have a good look. You can pause the video if you want and have a good study, which I recommend you do. Okay, now to help me out, I'm going to sing the song to see if I can work it out. So, there's Monday and there's Tuesday. Hmm, Tuesday? Tuesday doesn't start with a capital F. That's strange. I think this is Friday. So I think one of the wrong days is Friday. So I'm going to hang on to him. Let's see if I can work out what else is missing. So there's Monday and there's... See, this should be Tuesday. Where is Tuesday? Let's carry on singing and find out. There's Monday and there should be Tuesday. There's Wednesday and there's Thursday. There's Fr Friday. Well, I've got Friday here. That, to me, looks like... Tuesday, Friday and Tuesday have got swapped up. So I need to put Friday after Thursday and I need to put Tuesday after Monday. There we go. Let's do that one more time. Close your eyes again. I'm going to swap them again. Keep them closed. No cheating. I'm going to go for one here. And one here. Keep them closed. I haven't swapped them yet. And okay. Open your eyes. Have a good look. Pause the screen. Zoom in on them if you can't see them that clearly. Look at the um, first letter sounds in each uh, day of the week and see if you can work out which ones are in the wrong place. Sing the song to help you. Okay, if you've paused it and you think you might know the answer, let's see if you're right. I'm going to help myself by singing the song. So there's Monday and there's Tuesday. All good. There's when Wednesday. Ooh, that's not a woo. That's not right. What's that? I'm going to take that one down. That's not right at all. Hmm, look at that one in the wrong place. Let's see if we can work out where I need to swap it. There's Monday and there's Tuesday, should be Wednesday and there's Thursday. There's Friday and there's Saturday and then there's, oh hang on, that's not Sunday. Look at this one, it has a capital ooh, at the beginning, that must be Wednesday. So Wednesday and Sunday were mixed up. I need to put Sunday up here and I need to put Wednesday in between Tuesday and Thursday. There we go. I've got my days of the week back in the right places. Okay, I mean, you could make your own cards at home and have a go at doing that um, at home a few times, couldn't you? Where you get the ad your adults to take some cards and mix them around for days of the week. It'll get you really used to seeing what the days of the week look like when they're written in words. Okay, so our other activity that we're going today is to do today is to put our daily activities, our daily routines, the things we do, into an order of how we tend to do them. Now, we're not all exactly the same. We don't do things exactly the same way as everybody else, but we kind of sort of do. We kind of, um, we have to because of certain times of day when the sun is up or the sun goes down or where we have to be at certain times. So most of our days are pretty similar. Just have a quick slurp of tea because I'm a bit thirsty. Uh, sorry about that. Lots of talking for Mrs. Patman today. So I've got a big batch here of cards. I'm going to bring them over to the screen so we can flick through and see what we've got, okay? Now, I have, if you're in my class, sent these home to you on Friday. So hopefully they will arrive on your doormat in time to do them for this lesson. If they don't, then work with me now on my ones. And when they come through the post, just have a go at doing it then, okay? You don't have to do it on Monday. It's fine. Okay, so our cards say, and you can see quite clearly from the picture, this is a bedtime story. So be thinking when you have that. Do you have that first thing in the morning on a school day? So think school day. Or does it come near the end or somewhere in the middle? Uh, eating your dinner. Okay, so imagine this is your warm dinner, maybe when you've gone home at the end of the day. So where will that be placed? Then we've got 
eating your lunch. So they look like they're sitting on a school bench there. Okay, so maybe that's more of a, a lunch time when you're at school. We've got wash your face. So think about when you might wash your face. Do you do it in the middle of the day when you're at school? Do you do it at the beginning of the day? Got another one here that says go to sleep. Going to sleep. Hmm. When do you do that? Do you do that at school at lunchtime? Hmm. Probably not. Brushing your teeth. Going home at the end of school day. Eating your breakfast. When do you do your breakfast eating? Getting out of bed. Waking up. Gosh, there's quite a few. Think of the things we do. Wash your face again. So maybe you do that more than once a day. Maybe you should do it more than once a day. We've got going to school. Getting dressed. Putting on your pyjamas. So do you do that to go to school? Mm. And watching television. It's kind of dark this time of year when you get home. So I've gone for a watching television. We've got time for school. So you're at school. And then brushing your teeth again for a second time because you should brush your teeth twice a day. So, I'm going to hold one of these up and you've got to tell me where it goes on the pegged up washing line, okay? We might have to shuffle some around a bit as we get more and more to go up. But I want you to do this activity as well with your own cards. So, we've got brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. When do you do that? Well, I don't know about you, but I do my first thing in the morning and last thing at night but often I will do it well I can't do it when I'm laying in bed so I haven't got up yet I'm sorry so I've definitely got up already and I've probably got dressed and I've probably eaten my breakfast already because I don't brush my teeth until after I've eaten my breakfast so I reckon and I don't know about you but I think that's going to come around about here so I've got room for other things to happen before I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. Okay, next one I've got school time. So I'm at school. So I've brushed my teeth. I reckon school time's got to be pretty close after brushing your teeth. I tend to do mine just before I head on out to school. So I reckon about here. Then we've got, uh, oh, putting on your pyjamas. Do I do that before going to school? Put on my pyjamas? No, of course not. I'm going more likely to do that near the end of the day, aren't I? Just before I go to bed. So I'm going to put that about here. We might need to move it about a bit, but there is put on your pyjamas. Next, I've got get dressed. So the opposite of putting on your pyjamas. So it must come at the opposite end of the day. So getting dressed. I think I'll probably do mine before I brush my teeth. This is where we might be slightly different, but I reckon that getting dressed is probably going to come about here. About there on the day, okay? Yours might be slightly different. Okay, up next, I've got go to school. So will go to school be somewhere up here where I'm putting on my pyjamas? Will it be somewhere in the middle of the day, around lunchtime? No, we tend to go to school first thing in the morning, don't we, after we've had our breakfast. So I think we've brushed our teeth. It's not, we're not in the middle of learning yet, we're going to school. So I think that should go about there. Okay, next up, we've got washing your face. So imagine mm, washing your face. Now I feel like the place it's definitely not going to go is somewhere around the middle at lunchtime. I don't tend to wash my face at school. So I might wash my face at the end of the day, or I might wash it at the beginning. Shall we go for the beginning one, yes? Okay, so I think that possibly I'm going to wash my face, and I'll put that there, as I've got out of bed, that's what I'm thinking. Right, okay, let's have a little shuffle along. So, so far, washing my face, getting dressed, brushing my teeth, going to school, school time, and right at the end of the day, putting on my pyjamas. Right, help me out. Wake up. So not go to bed, but wake up. Must be the absolute first thing we do, mustn't it, up here. I can't wash my face and then wake up, can I? I must wake up first of all. So I need to have a little shuffle along here. Whoops, let's move, get dressed up. Let's move, wash your face up. And let's go for wake up at the very beginning here. 
Okay, so this looks good up this end, doesn't it? I'm quite happy with this. I hope you guys are as well. Okay, I've got get out of bed. Hmm, does that come after going to school? Getting out of bed? Does it come at the end of the day? Do I get out of bed at the end of the day? No, I need to put this in up here somewhere, don't I? So, do I get out of bed before I wake up? No. Do I get out of bed after I wake up? Yes, and it must be before I wash my face because how, how can I wash my face if I've been in bed? So I'm going to have to have a little wee shuffle along. Let's move these all up a bit so that I can fit in. Get up. I forgot about getting up. I don't just wake up and then wash my face. I have to actually get up out of bed. There we are. Okay. It's looking very good up this end, very busy. We must be needing some up the middle and the end for by now. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. Do I eat breakfast at night time? Do I eat it at the end of the day? Do I have it at lunchtime at school? No, I eat my breakfast in the morning. So I might have to have a shuffle, okay? So I've got wash your face, get dressed. I probably am gonna eat my breakfast when I'm dressed, maybe. Uh, but I want to brush my teeth afterwards, so it needs to go in here somewhere. So let's have a shuffle along again. Move them up, move them up. And this one, borrow a peg and pop that in there. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then brush my teeth and then go to school and then it's school time learning. Okay, I've got go home from school. Go home. Hmm, do I just start my learning and then go home and watch straight away? Hmm, now there's a whole day at school, isn't there? I'm forgetting lunchtime and things. So I'm going to put go home about here. There must be something going on in between at school. I'm getting close to the end of my pile now. I've got to brush my teeth again. Now I've already got brush my teeth here. So I don't do it twice before going to school. Do I brush my teeth at school? We did do it once before, didn't we, as a science experiment, but that's only, that's an unusual thing. So brushing my teeth again must go up this end, mustn't it? Yes, maybe you do it before you put on your pyjamas, maybe you do it afterwards. I'm gonna go for an afterwards, okay? So pyjamas first, then teeth. You might be slightly different. I've got, oh, some lots of them in the same spot here. Go to sleep. Do I go to sleep at school? No, of course not, it's too exciting. So I must go to sleep somewhere up here. Will it be the last thing I do? Yes, of course, because then I'm asleep one time. So nothing else will happen. So go to sleep is way up there on the end. Okay, I've got, oh, let's go for this one. Eat your lunch. Of course, it's been a long time coming. I'm eating my lunch. So I don't tend to eat lunch in the evening and I don't tend to eat lunch at the beginning because I'm eating my breakfast. So it must go when I'm at school. So before I go home, and just after my first bit of learning, eat your lunch. Oh, this is taking shows brilliantly here. I've got eat your dinner. So we have breakfast in the morning, lunch at lunchtime, and dinner in the evening. Do I put my pajamas on and then have dinner? Do I brush my teeth and then have dinner? Oh no, I'd be covered in dinner all over my teeth. So I think that maybe I'm going to eat my dinner around about here, long before I put my pyjamas on. Okay, now we have got a bedtime story. Now I think as it's a bedtime story, a lot of us tend to be under the covers hearing this story just before we switch out the lights and go to sleep. So I'm not thinking straight after going home from school, are you? Where are you thinking? Point. I'm thinking up here as well. I am thinking it's after I put my pyjamas. I think it's after I've brushed my teeth. But it can't be after I've gone to sleep because I wouldn't hear the story. So I'm going to borrow a pig, have a shuffle. Are you happy if I put bedtime story here just before going to sleep? You might do yours slightly differently. You might have a story before you even go out and brush your teeth. That's fine. When you come to sort your own, you put it in the right place. Now, because it is um, dark nights at the moment, rather than play outdoors, I've gone for a watch television. But if you get a bit of sneaky play outdoors time, that would be great, okay? So either or here, you could choose. But I'm gonna go for watching television 
And hmm, when do we eat that? Now this might be slightly different for some of you, okay? You might watch a little bit as soon as you go home from school. You might watch a bit after you've eaten your dinner. I think I'm gonna go for it here. So as soon as I get home, while dinner's being cooked, I mean, we did discuss last week that it's a good idea to help cook the dinner as well. So maybe don't watch the television, but help cook the dinner. And then last of all, we have another wash your face. Do we wash our face at school? Up here, we've already got to wash your face. We've done it in the morning. So this must go, where do you think? Up this way, before you go to bed. So you've eaten your dinner and you want to wash the dinner off your face. So it must be after that. You might well wash your face just before you put on your pyjamas. And there we have it. My gosh, aren't you all busy people with so much to do normally on a school day? Absolutely. This is good. This will help remind you when you come back after lockdown exactly what you've got to do on an ordinary school day. So we put all of these things in order. We are such busy people. So, if you're in my class, you will have a set of these coming through the post to you. Have a go yourself. After this video, have a go putting them in order on the living room carpet, maybe, to see which things you do first, then in the middle of the day, and then at the end of the day. Okay, I'm going to whiz this down very carefully and peel it over here. Because, to finish off, I just want to do a spot of counting because we didn't count too much last week during our 2D and symmetry lessons. So can we have a go at counting to 100 in fives? Now when we're counting in fives, we want to know this column that all ends in fives and this column that ends in zeros, okay? It's all the ones we normally go on a high voice and a low voice for, okay? And it's very quick to count to 100 in fives because we're adding five on each time, not counting every number. Right, okay, I'll be ready. Should we do it to a jazzy tune? 5, 10, 15, 20, 85, 90, 95, 100. Well done if you got all your counting in fives really well. I am very impressed with you. Remember, if you have a 100 square at home, you can help yourself by colouring in all the ones that end in a five and all the ones that end in a zero to help you with your counting in fives. Okay, so I think that we have probably done all we need to do today. Um, and I am going to say goodbye to you and catch you again tomorrow when we do another lesson on time. You will find also in the post that you received a picture of a clock. That clock is, and I'll show you here, if you can snip it up whoops, into little pieces like I have done here, okay, into little triangles and rectangles and all sorts of pieces, I want you to be able to put that clock face together like a jigsaw puzzle in tomorrow's lesson. Okay, so that's the point of that clock face coming through to you in the post if you are in my class at school. If you're not, then maybe get a picture of a clock from the internet or draw on, I'll get an adult draw on for you and snip it up and you can use that for a puzzle to put together. That will get you used to seeing what an analog clock face looks like and where all the numbers appear on an analog clock. So take care, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.